What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Logistical Styles coming at you with another video. This time I'm doing a product review. I'm doing a review on this powered speaker by Harbinger. It's the Vary V2312. It's a 12 inch powered speaker. It's got a Bluetooth enabled so you can stream audio to it. It's got something called smart stereo where you can um, link one speaker up with another one and use the controls on one speaker to control both of them for like some true stereo uh, imaging or whatever but uh, it's also got a, a built-in mixer so you got three channels of audio um, this is the box that came in uh, claims to be 2000 watts but we know wattage usually is just um, advertising stuff that they do to get you pulled in um, the SPL on this is a uh, think 126 uh, so it is um, fairly loud and uh, I actually got a chance to use it last night at a gig um, it's kind of funny how I came into actually getting the speaker uh, I create speaker covers this is one of my little side hustles and I had gotten an order for uh, about four of these speaker covers for this model speaker so I went in to Guitar Center to check out the dimensions of it, um, just really to measure it, because I knew they would have it. Harbinger is the in-store uh, brand for their powered speakers. So I went there and it was actually on Black Friday, uh, th it just passed, and I saw the speaker was like 250, so I was thinking that's a pretty low price. I might even consider just buying it, taking it home, making the covers, and then returning it you know but uh as i looked around further on the store i saw that this was actually being discounted for black uh, friday so it was actually 199 so i figured you know 200 bucks for the speaker definitely go ahead get it use it for my purposes and then um give it a test run see how i like it if i like it i'll keep it if not uh take it back i got 45 days so um i think i'm actually going to keep it because i've been experimenting with it I got to use it at a gig live last night um, I've been looking at the different ways I could use this and add it to um, my speaker arsenal or even replace um, another speaker that I may have that's not you know being uh, as fully used as it should be but um, yeah I'll go over it in a minute we'll go hop into the features of the speaker I'll take a look at it and show you how it works and then I'll give my opinion along the way how um, I think I might use it or whether they could improve it or you know just let's just talk about the speaker basically so let's hop into it this is the box that came in uh, once again this is a 12 inch powered speaker and um, I've got it set up over here so once I get the camera moved into another position I'll be able to show you a couple of more things here we have the uh, speaker set up on a speaker stand and um, it weighs about 35 pounds so it's got a little weight to it it's built very solid solidly I'll say that much um, I do like the design of it I'm not sure exactly if this is like a clone of another brand speaker um, but I like the design it seems pretty modern it, it okay so when you look at the back of the speaker you get to see the whole uh, three channel mixer that's included in here each of these channels can be switch or the first two channels can be switched between mic guitar and line um, you got XLR quarter inch combo jack so you can have uh, multiple different kind of inputs in there um, the third channel is the channel that actually deals with the Bluetooth and that's where you stream to um, you have the option to turn Bluetooth off so you don't have to worry about someone trying to uh, jump on a speaker and stream their own device to it so you can turn it off there you've got uh, input for uh, aux cable which is I think the 3.5 millimeter input then you have your quarter inch inputs so you can um, once again have a variety of inputs the only thing it's missing on here is the RCA but um, you really don't need to have RCA I mean it's you got plenty of other options so get an adapter cable or something and you'll be good uh, you got bass and treble control for the whole main output and then this section right here is their smart sync or smart um, stereo uh, option where you can 
um, make one speaker the master and another speaker the slave and the master speaker is the one that will handle all the inputs and it just distributes sound to the other speakers so when you just turn the volume up on the mic here on this speaker on the other speaker the mic volume will come up as well so it's um, a pretty neat feature I haven't really got a chance to use it but um, I can see that coming in handy um, then at the top section it's called voicings but to me that's just like presets you have your standard vocal boost live and floor monitor uh, modes uh, the speaker is designed to be used as a uh, floor monitor if you want to it's got these rubber um, pieces right here stands or feet that it can sit on on its side and it can work as a monitor that way um, takes a standard IEC power cable um, there's a fuse as well and a power switch so um, it's pretty um, basic but it's got some features and options to really help you um, if you're a mobile DJ especially if you're a wedding DJ that does ceremonies you can just have um, a wireless mic going into one channel you can have your iPad or iPod or laptop or whatever you're gonna use for your sound um, going into the other channel and if you want to keep it clean or whatever you can do Bluetooth and I don't recommend using Bluetooth in very crowded environments or places where you're not getting you know a direct line of sight to the device you're streaming to but um, a lot of ceremonies I do I'm right there with my speaker so I can use the option of wiring from my iPad right into the speaker or I can stream Bluetooth. Uh, what's cool about this is um, this really minimizes or really helps clean up my ceremony situation because now I can just use this stand with my laptop or my iPad and I've got Track the DJ Pro uh, installed on here so I can play to the speaker without having to run wires other than power. Ceremonies are really uh, small and um, quick events so usually you're just gonna play about four or five tracks and then that's it most of it is speech with the wireless microphone so you got options I can clean this up I could uh, find a way to attach my receiver to this speaker so I could just place the speaker somewhere set my levels hand the mic to the officiant uh, or connect it to him because I've got options with a lapel mic or a handheld and um just have a really cool clean setup so I really like this um, in fact I, I think that's one of the features or factors that made me decide that I'm not going to take it back to the guitar so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it maybe even get another one and just use these as my ceremony system because um, it's just very versatile it's better than I was using before my other speaker did not have a mixer built into it it didn't have um, any presets it had one it had two presets it had a flat and it had a boosted mode I used the PV PVX 10 it's a 10 inch powered speaker and it worked well for ceremonies but um, I think I can do better and for 200 bucks I really can't beat that in fact um, I've got this already the PVX that I bought that I was using I bought that used from Guitar Center a couple of years ago probably four years ago four hundred and fifty dollars because I needed a ceremony uh, speaker uh, right now I got that speaker on eBay or even on Facebook marketplace I'm about to sell it probably and make a profit off it I got it listed for 175 and I'm getting a couple of um, watchers and people saying that they're gonna pick it up but we'll see how it works out but either way it's gonna work out for me because I get rid of that speaker upgrade to this and out of pocket if I get it, sell it, the other speaker for 175 I pay 200 for this $25 upgrade not bad and then the original reason why I bought this speaker was because I make the speaker covers for it so I've already pretty much paid for this speaker um, between the orders that I have for this speaker and um, the uh, sale of the other speaker so this was a easy upgrade and definitely well worth it like I said I had this thing going last night and we pushed it really hard um, I, I had it going really loud I'll say that because like I said the volume was only on 10 so 10 o'clock not 10 on 10 o'clock so if I would have cranked it up even 75% of the way uh, I think I probably would have seen a limit light come on but um, I think it's probably would have held on 
Uh, hopefully I don't have to push it that hard. I don't really like to abuse my equipment like that, but I'm definitely gonna have to um, recommend this speaker and actually uh, change my views on the Harbinger stuff because like I said, I used to didn't really mess with Harbinger stuff too much because the only ones I've seen in real life were always blown or um, not working well. But this is definitely an improvement. I like it, it suits my needs and I think I will continue to use it. And like I said, I'll get another one. Maybe I can get it in time for the uh, holiday sale before they go back up to the regular price, I think it was 250. So, um, hey, I'm definitely giving it the thumbs up and I think you guys should definitely check this out. If you are looking for a budget entry level speaker or a speaker that you're not going to push super hard, uh, something that you can take care of, um, I definitely am not trying to put this in the same league as a QSC or EV uh, model, but um, I think, or the higher end EV stuff, but I think this might, you know, compete with a ZLXP, the powered speaker, or um, another entry level speaker from another uh, manufacturer. So definitely look into it. They're at Guitar Center. Like I said, they were $200 this weekend for the whole Black uh, Friday sale, but I think that sale's going on a little longer, probably through the holidays. So um, I got mine for $200, and normally it's $250. So check it out. Your boy Logistical Styles, and I'm out.